Hello my dear learners. In this video, I am going to discuss a very simple technique to develop your data science visualization dashboard. So without further delay, let's get started. In this video, you need two things only. One, if you have an Anaconda installed in your computer, just install the Anaconda. And then once you install the Anaconda, there are two things that you can use. One is the Jupyter Notebook Anaconda which you can use to create your data visualization dashboard or you can use Jupyter Lab to create your data visualization dashboard with two Python code lines. Okay. Now, if you have Anaconda installed, which I strongly recommend you to do so. And then if you want to open the Jupyter Lab, just please go to the Anaconda prompt and type Jupyter Lab just two word jupyter lab once you type jupyter lab in your anaconda prompt then it will automatically open the jupyter lab in your computer why jupyter lab because jupyter lab is faster more better performer than jupyter notebook i strongly recommend but you can always use jupyter notebook the classical one okay now the next step is very easy once you open the Jupyter Lab, the Jupyter Lab looks like something like that. I mean, it's a simple Jupyter Notebook type, uh, special, there is no nothing to special something, but it's kind of an uh, interactive session, okay? Now, in order to do that, you just need to go pip install pywedge. This is the package or software that you need to install. Either you use Jupyter Lab or Jupyter Notebook, okay? So pip install pywedge, okay? Remember, and then once you install this module or package, then I already have the uh, pandas installed in my computer because I am using Anaconda, but I need to import pandas data frame. So import pandas as pd and import pywidget as pw, which means I am installing this module and now I would like to use it in this particular session. And then I am going to create a data frame using a video game sales.csv data this is a very famous data set which i downloaded from the kaggle you can download it from the kaggle the video sales uh, csv data please use that i have it i i will use the link you can download the data set and once you download this upload this data by commanding pd dot read dot csv and then data frame dot head you can check the name of the variable the first few columns and rows i also show you some column names like rank name platform year publisher um, new york sales european sales japanese sales global sales okay so you can north american sales so these are the information from the column uh, perspective of the data set okay now the next magic is you create a new object called charts using the mc.make charts okay so what is mc mc is the is this one the new object that you have created from the pi widget charts so mc is equal to the first line of that two line command that create this dashboard okay the first line was this pi widget from pi widget mod module all the pi ch pi widget charts okay then give the input information like data frame C meaning that I don't want to delete any column I want to input all the column in this particular case if you want to delete any column or if you don't want to include any column you can just put the name here and then Y is my response variable in other words my dependent variable okay I mean the Y variable okay here it is global cells and next this is the first line of command the next line which is the final line charts equal to mc dot make charts okay so mc or you already created that object just like just before that and the next one is make charts that's it this will automatically open this window and then you can just select the information that you need for example if i just select publisher and then make chart okay then it will create different charts in here okay you can always like scatter plot pie chart bar plot violin plot test distribution plot histogram 
just name anything that you'd like to create you just drag and drop from this simple x-axis then y-axis okay and then make chart and the most important thing you can create several charts in two window for example make chart from one window here and make chart from one window there so four or five charts you can create in this particular dashboard so using this pie widget make charts i should say that it's a wonderful opportunity to create your data visualization small project for data science and i hope this video is useful for you use these two simple uh, line of coding of python and create your own pie widget charts for your data visualization purpose i will see you in the next tutorial thank you my dear learners bye bye